Welcome to Rodas Do Metal Review. I know this is not exactly the uh, comfort zone for me, and many people know that this is not exactly the genre I'm uh, big friends with. Now, give or take, uh, this time we're gonna talk about Do Metal. Do Metal that is not at the same time um, very typical, and also, like I said, at the same time also knowing very much the roots. This one is Scarecrow from Russia and they have two albums out and why featuring both albums because the first of them is like 2019 and the second one is 2021 here we have the first one which is just simple titled as scarecrow and then we have scarecrow uh, 2 which is also a digibag as you can see here they are or should i put it this way that you get to actually read the titles now because these are both are a little bit older by now and because they are very very much the same style it makes no sense to just kind of separate them in different reviews when you can just go through the albums and their musical style with this review as you can see both are rather nice looking digibacks and already somewhat older but indeed they have some kind of a warmth with them which you really can't say about very very many things related to that but we're not here to talk about politics we're here to talk about the music and this one is as old school doom metal as it can be in uh, nowadays world that is of course these are very very modern releases but at the same time they kind of uh, have this 70s feeling with the music and stuff and by stuff i mean there are plenty of uh, things which are kind of resonating as this was recorded some 1970s or 90, early 1980s. But at the same time, of course, the production is something more modern, actually way more modern and not in a bad way. So in a way, this is a combination of uh, modern days things as well as things of the past. So here we have two scarecrows. And as you can see, this band had pretty much started in 2019. Probably they were founded a little bit earlier than that, but those days don't really uh, matter in case of, well, in, ter in the terms of when music started, uh, started to be put out. And uh, indeed, 2019 was the first year for, uh, for the band, that is, first came the EP and then the full-length album, which year with some 36 minutes and then some featuring eight tracks. And uh, this is kind of a warm sounding uh, old school doom metal with a little bit of hard rock on the side. Some might say this is a kind of a proto metal in a way that it's definitely having a lot of that kind of uh, organic rock and roll feeling while being, you know, more or less tied to old school doom metal. And by old school, I really mean the very, very first waves of bands, you know, Black Sabbath and the like. So this is kind of resonating with the same area uh, and same genre, subgenre, if you will, but the production indeed being more modern. This second album, which is a little bit lengthier, but roughly in the same territory, eight tracks, 43 minutes, is pretty much the same, but now expanding and being a little bit more wild. And by wild, I mean they are not necessarily sounding typical metal, band because they have kind of a more hippie kind of approach to the music be it you know female vocals or instruments that are not so typical to metal music they are definitely experimenting and that makes this actually quite fascinating there are parts where i would like be like a question mark why <laughs> what lead these guys to do this kind of a music but I don't know, I find it fascinating because it's more like traditional doom metal. Having a layer or two of this kind of a old school rock and roll, hard rock if you will, and then having these more kind of a hippie instruments or just experimenting a little bit with that and creating an interesting layer of or layers of music which is at the same time very, very safe and easy to listen to and also going a little bit off road with that very very nature themed especially if you're thinking about how it sounds how the songs are structured and what kind of instruments they're in play i can pretty much guess that if you're more traditional doom metal fanatic and you don't want anything extra on top of it this might be a little bit too much so definitely not for everybody which in turn kind of surprised me positively because i was expecting to just kind of a more like traditional doom which can be really really 
bit quite boring for me because I've never been a big fan of that stuff. Not Black Sabbath or any of those bigger names, being Candlemas or whatever. I mean, they might have really talented vocalists and all that stuff. They might have the purest form of what Doom is all about. But that doesn't help me to like it. I can totally respect the given bands, for example, but that doesn't mean that I'm automatically liking them so much. But something uh, resonates me with Scarecrow maybe more than I should. This is not to say this is better than Black Sabbath, for instance. I'm just merely saying that while I am not exactly a traditional doom metal fanatic, I can totally dig some parts of it here. And one of them, though, one of those things is that these guys are pretty wild in their music. And I like how they experiment. Now, comparing this to classic is kind of a... I mean, it doesn't really make sense. Because first of all, some people just consider those given albums or bands kind of holy, untouchable, if you will. And of course, in that game, Scarecrow has nothing to offer. But if we forget the you know classic value or the pioneer meaning to those bands and just talk about the music itself, I think Scarecrow have uh, quite a big thing to offer. I mean, they are some kind of a refreshing take on doom metal and having hard rock elements into that. And at the same time, they're also uh, respecting the traditions and just you know playing doom metal in the very essence, very core and just adding their own choice of colors and nuances and all that stuff. So if you are into doom metal, I think you should give this a chance. And no, don't mind my rambling about the genre. But if you are much like me that you in general don't like doom metal, I don't know if it makes sense for you to check this out. Of course, it's up to you to decide whether or not this is good or for your liking. I'm merely giving you a little bit of pointers why this band is interesting and what kind of stuff they might have to offer. But you make your own opinions and uh, decide for yourself whether or not to like this band. You will find links provided in the description box. So listen and give it a chance if you think Doom Metal is your cup of tea. And if not, well, now at least you know more. Thanks for watching. Take care.